So going on your traverse path, it's really important to hold a good, strong position. Don't just relax off because you're not skiing on the downhill. Quite often, the traverse paths have rollers, areas you've got to break your speed to use your side slip. And as you can see here, rocks in places where it's a bit worn out, you could say the path's been worn out. So if you came into this with speed and you could clip a rock, end up tumbling down there is not the nicest outcome. So always be cautious, remember to scrape off speed. And if you get in amongst the rocks like this, just take your time, use your ski poles. You can tread on the rocks, that's not a problem. It's not gonna to cause too much damage to your skis because you're just lightly stepping over it. But use the poles, get four points of contact to make it an easier, much easier traverse. And then you're back on your way on a nice bit of path. So the other thing to think about as well, when that speed does pick up, you wanna make sure you're not too relaxed just because you're traversing. Treat it like it would be your most dynamic ski run. Take advantage of everything to do with your balance. Get your hands out, you're in the right position. Be ready to take shocks, make sure your core's switched on. The amount of times I've gone into traverse paths and seen people fold over and buckle because they've hit that roller. 